Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Gemini. This is going to be for your uh, first half of your July from the 1st to 15th. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. So apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch the rules if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Gemini people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your uh, unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Um, also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do post readings on there too, okay? So, Gemini. Tell me about Gemini in love. Over energies for Gemini regarding love and the person that they are connecting with for the first half of their July from the 1st to 15th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Gemini. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords here. We have the world. Mm. I almost get the sense that someone here is getting cut off. So I don't know if you're cutting someone off or someone's cutting you off, but you're closing the door on something here. And you couldn't be more clear about this, uh, Gemini, because I feel like this is like something that you want, okay? You know that this is something that's good for you, okay? So let's see, we have the Eight of Cups here and the Strength card. Yeah, what's happening here is, is I feel like you're gaining the courage to walk away from someone here where this person is no longer serving your higher good here, okay? Um, you know, I do feel like maybe you're realizing that this connection that you were in with this person was not really based on emotion, but more based on physical appearance and lust here. I just feel like there was no depth here, and I feel like you're looking for that, um, uh, Gemini. We have the Ace of Pentacles here and the Page of Pentacles. So what's happening is I feel like what you guys are moving towards, you know, you know, financial fulfillment here. So I feel like you're shifting your focus here. You're shifting gears here. Uh, you're more so focused on your uh, pentacles, your work life here, because maybe because when you were in the situation with this person, you completely lost sight of yourself. You lost sight of work here. So I feel like you're trying to get back on track here. Some of you guys could be, uh, you know, maybe at that time when you were with this person, you were not working, but I do see a job offer that's coming in for you. And I feel like this job offer is going to be really great because I do feel like it's going to be financially satisfying for you. Okay. Ace of Swords here, Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Hierophant, Taurus, Energy, Six of Cups here. Wow. You've known this person for a long time. You have some sort of so strong soul connection with this individual. It just seems like maybe this person just couldn't do right by you here. I just feel like maybe this person um, has different morals than you do, you know, morals, uh, core values. It's just, uh, there's a bit of a misalignment here, okay, between you guys. The Hierophant, Taurus Energy, Eight of Cups here, and the Nine of Cups, the Strength card here, and the Hangman. You're letting this go. You're surrendering this. Yeah, you're moving on from this. Yeah, I, I feel like, you know, that Knight of Cups, the, the energy that I'm getting from this as you leave, I feel like there's a sense of relief or release. It's kind of like, like, you know, you finally could breathe here, okay? Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Ace of Pentacles, Piscean Energy with the Hangman, the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Page of Pentacles here, and the Three of Wands. So what's happening here is that I feel like this is interesting. I, I feel like someone here, so you were with this person or someone here pulled you in because maybe this person was all about material stuff. But I feel like now I feel like you're trying to financially, um, you know, stabilize yourself here by, you know, looking for work, planning for the future here on your own. You know, I feel like it's one of those things where someone here got into a relationship with somebody or was tempted or was enticed where, Basically, someone here had 
didn't have to do anything ever again in their life when it comes to work because someone here is taking care of somebody. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, like I said, it was more like an appearance situation here. There was no debt. Tell me about the up. Uh, tell me about the person that Gemini is dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Gemini for the first half of their July, from the first to fifteenth? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Gemini. We have the Two of Pentacles here and the Emperor. Aries energy. Okay. Oh. Ace of Wands here and the Three of Swords. This person also cheated on you too, I feel. Yeah, uh, you know, I feel like the money situation thing, the appearance thing, I, I just feel like this person was not just doing it with you. I feel like this person was doing it with multiple people here. Uh, I, what I'm getting the sense that I feel like this person will, like, if this person wants you back, I feel like this person will be juggling you. And I feel like this person just wants to be with you just for sex, especially with the Ace of Wands here. The Chariot and the Nine of Swords. Oh my. This person's already losing their mind, trying to like keep up with the appearances, keeping up with the juggling here. Uh, this person cannot handle it. I mean, who can? I mean, think about juggling multiple people. I mean, I, I'm getting stressed out thinking about it, you know? You, you know? So, you know, one person's more than enough, but juggling multiple people, kind of like, oh my. Tell me the Two of Pentacles here. We have the Ten of Cups, Emperor here, and the Two of Wands. Wow. This person might also be committed in a relationship here already too. Whoever this is, this person's a playboy, playgirl. This person plays, loves to play, love to be able to control people, you know, kind of like, you know, pull people in. Um, this is this person's game. Um, I, and I feel like this game, yeah, this game is going to continue here. So I do feel like it's almost like this person, the magician and the devil here. I do feel like this person has some sort of like gift or some, there's something about this person's energy where they're able to entice people in and then hurt them, break their hearts. Yeah. Manipulate them, control them. Wow. It, 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 this is so... I'm almost getting that, you know, this person enjoys having a bunch of people in this person's, you know, roster. It's almost like, you know, it's like having a slave. You know what I mean? Excuse the analogy, but that kind of what it comes off as, you know what? So um, the chariot and the nine of pentacles, the nine of swords here, and the high priestess, Cancer Pisces here. Yeah, you know, I feel like this is you. You just know better to step away from this situation here. It's almost like this person has a tight leash on you or a tight rope on you. Not just you, but like uh, who, whoever else is involved in the situation here. Um, tell me about Gemini. Outcome and advice. What else does Gemini need to know? Look out for work on here. For the first half of their July, from the 1st to the 15th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Wheel of Fortune here and the Five of Swords. This is some sort of past, this is like some sort of past life unfinished business here. Yeah, and it's it's continuing in this lifetime. Yeah, so it's it's really up to you to find your willpower to break free from this, which I feel like you're in the process of. Yeah, King of Wands here and this, oh my God, this person's nasty. Nasty, 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 nasty. Seven of Wands, uh, King of Wands and the Seven of Swords, the Fool card here, and the, the Seven of Wands. I see you running far, 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 far away. I, I see you hightailing, out, hightailing it out, out, out of this situation. I see you forming blocks and barriers energetically. I see you forming boundaries with this person. The Wheel of Fortune here and the Eight of Wands, the Five of Swords here. And this is definitely some sort of past life unfinished business here that you're experiencing here. Yeah, it feels very, very, very heavy. It's it's almost like, it almost feels like I can't get out of jail or something like that. Yeah, Justice, Libra Energy, King of Wands here, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Swords here, and the Moon. I, I feel like this person is dark. Just almost soulless. Yeah, just soulless here. This person spews a lot of 
just baloney. Yeah, the Moon Cancer Pisces, the, the Fool, Six of Wands, Seven of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Feel, I feel like you're feeling really confident about this. You know, I feel like you know that this is going to lead to your own success here by stepping away from this. The universe is guiding you out of the situation here. So I feel like you, you are protected here. You've been protected the whole time. It's just that you needed to come to this realization here. So Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.